whenever depending upon the problem and depending upon the situation as two conditions which i have discussed no growth oriented dividend and growth oriented dividend based on these two situation in the question the formula differs so whatever given in the question everything has to be converted into decimal percentage everything we are converting into decimal what is the issuing cost that is issuing price issued at a par itself everybody i am your divya ma'am assistant professor from department of commerce and management lecturing with yashram first grade college mysuru the temple of excellence i welcome you all for the session 8 on your unit 1 cost of capital so in the last class we have discussed the problems on preference shares and the concepts on preference shares the formulas and how can we solve the problems on preference shares the cost of preference shares redeemable preference shares and irredeemable preference shares and in the last class itself we have discussed about the equity shares and how to calculate the cost of equity shares what are the different formulas for calculating equity shares so symbolically cost of equity is symbolically represented as k subscript with e so cost of equity is equal to cost of retained earnings so the, this concept also we have discussed in the last class so the agenda for today's the agenda for today's discussion concepts cost of equity capital and based on that we'll be solving the problem so in today's class complete equity calculation of your cost of equity will be shown in today's class moving forward cost of equity under two conditions we have the different formulas that have been derived what are the formulas when no growth dividends are there what is the formula cost of equity is equal to dividend divided by net proceeds so as i have told you my dear students whenever market price and your net proceeds is given you should always consider your market price so dividend divided by net proceeds or your market price next if both net proceeds and market price is given in the problem consider only market price as i have told you this point next if there is growth oriented dividend the formula changes what is the formula cost of equity is equal to dividend plus growth divided by net proceeds or market price so cost of equity my dear students have been telling this from the initial class so it is a subscription it should come below the k so what is this cost of equity is equal to when growth dividends when there is growth oriented dividends what is the formula dividend plus growth divided by net proceeds or market price so this is the formula so whenever depending upon the problem and depending upon the situation as two conditions which i have discussed no growth oriented dividend and growth oriented dividend based on these two situation in the question the formula differs so check out the formula and then substitute the formula to the problem moving forward problem number 1 so let us discuss problem number 1 x company has equity shares of rupees 10 each so x company has how many shares that is rupees 10 each the dividend declared during the current year is rupees 2.5 per share find out the cost of equity so in the question there is no growth rate given in the question so what you all have to do you have to apply the first formula so cost of equity is equal to dividend divided by net proceeds so net proceeds is how much 10 rupees so 2.5 divided by 10 how much it will be let's check out using a calculator 2.5 divided by 10 it is 0.25 so cost of equity is how much 0.25 so this is the 0.25 if you convert into percentage it is 25% so this is how you solve the problem moving forward problem number 2 so for your better clarity on equity share problems cost of equity calculation let us take up the 
one more problem so that with the new adjustment so that you will be able to solve all kinds of problem in your examination. So as I have told you my dear students WAC problem is 15 marks problem to calculate that 15 marks problem individual specific cost is essential. So when I discussed about the format that is your VAC table, I have discussed what is specific cost. So we are calculating specific cost, how to calculate the specific cost. So in the next class, I will take up entirely VAC problems, which is very important for your 15 marks questions that will definitely come to your examination. It is very easy. So stay tuned for the next class. Until that, let us learn this calculation of cost of equity. A company gives the following information, the dividend per share of the current year is 12.5 per share. So what is the current dividend? 12.5 is the current dividend. Find out the cost of equity if the book value is 50 per share with 10% flotation cost. The second situation, book value rupees 50 per share with 5% discount and market price is 70. Find out the cost of equity. So you need to calculate now three calculations which is important. So when the book value is 50 rupees, 10% flotation cost, net proceeds you need to calculate, then calculate the cost of equity. So dividend remains the same for all the calculations. So let us take up one by one. So condition number, that is first condition, that is A, 50 rupees per share. Net proceeds is 50 rupees with 10% flotation cost. So 50 into 10%, it will be how much? It will be 5 rupees. 50 into 10 percent it is 5 rupees so if you deduct 5 rupees that is flotation cost 45 rupees will be the net proceeds so what is the formula cost of equity is equal to dividend divided by net proceeds so now what is the net proceeds as we have calculated 50 that is 10 percent flotation cost 50 minus 5 rupees it is 45 rupees so dividend is 12.5 divided by 45 so if you do it what will be the cost 12.5 divided by 45 it is 0 0.277 or it is 27.7 percent so as we have calculated Next, calculation of a book value of rupees 50 per share but 5% discount. So while what is the book value? Book value is 50 per share. What is the discount rate? 5%. So 50 into 5%, it is 2.5. So 50 minus 2.5, it is 47.5. Net proceeds 47.5 and this is 12.5. If you calculate it, what will be the answer? So 12.5 divided by 47.5, it is 0 0.2631. And if you convert that into percentage, it is 27.3% if you round it off. So that is the answer you get. Now the condition number three, the market price is 70 per share. So as I have told you, whenever market price is given, my dear students, you'll need to take up the, you'll need to consider the market price that is 70 per share. So dividend will be 12.5 divided by what is the market price? 70 is the market price 70 rupees is the market price so if you substitute the value so 12.5 divided by 70 it is 0 0.1785 so 0 0.1785 if you convert into percentage it is 17.8 percent so this is how you calculate when market price is given when it is issued at discount and with the flotation cost you will calculate the cost of equity moving forward let us take up problem number three. 
द करेंट मार्केट प्राइस ऑफ इक्विटी शेयर इज रुपीज नाइंटी द डिविडेंड पर शेयर इज ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव एंड द ग्रोथ रेट इज सेवन परसेंट सो वॉट एवर गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन एवरीथिंग हैज टू बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू डेसिमल परसेंटेज एवरीथिंग वी आर कन्वर्टिंग इन टू डेसिमल सो लेट इज कैलकुलेटेड सो वॉट इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन ग्रोथ रेट इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन द फॉर्मुला डिफर्स कॉस्ट ऑफ इक्विटी is equal to dividend plus growth divided by market price so since market price is given in the question dividend is how much 12.5 per share plus growth rate is 7% if you convert that into percentage 7 divided by 100 it is 0.07 divided by market price is how much 90 rupees so 12.5 plus 0.07 divided by 90 so what is given in the question it is dividend is given 12.5 and the growth rate is 0.07 if you divide it with market price 90 you'll get the answer as 0.209 so how do you get this calculation first 12 point this is separate dividend divided by market price plus growth so if you divide this dividend plus market price and then if you add it with the growth rate you'll get the answer as 0.209 so problem number 4 A company issues thousand equity shares of rupees hundred each at a premium of ten percent. So hundred and ten is the issuing price. The company has been paying twenty percent of equity share holding for past five years, except to maintain the same in the future. Also, compute the cost of equity or capital. Will it make any difference if the market price is one sixty? Two calculation here. It has to be done. First is considering the net proceeds. Second is considering the market price and check out the difference. First case is issuing at a premium that is ten percent. Net proceeds is hundred and ten. Dividend is twenty rupees. Hundred into twenty percent it is twenty rupees. So cost of equity is equal to dividend divided by net proceeds. Dividend is twenty rupees. Net proceeds is hundred and ten. if you issue it what is the cost 20 divided by 110 it is 0.18 0.18 if you convert it it is 18% next we have is considering the market price dividend remains the same but the market price is 160 so 20 divided by 160 It is zero point one two five. Zero point one two five into hundred. That is twelve point five percent. So this is how you calculate the cost of equity when the growth rate is given and when the growth rate is not given. When market price is given, and you have to check out the difference. Problem number five. A company plans to issue. Thousand new shares of rupees hundred each at par. So, what is the issuing cost? That is issuing price issued at a par itself. So, hundred rupees itself is the net proceeds with five percent flotation cost. So, hundred into five percent. You need to check out the flotation cost. The company pays the dividend of rupees ten. per share so dividend how much it is the dividend 10 rupees is the dividend and the growth is given 5% compute the cost of new issue of equity shares and also compute the current market price of an equity shares of rupees 150 calculate the cost of existing equity share capital so two again two things you need to calculate one under the net proceeds again under the market price as we have done in the previous problem so what is given in the question net proceeds is given 100 rupees issued at par and 5% is the flotation cost 100 into 5% it is 5 rupees So five rupees hundred minus five rupees it is ninety five. So net proceeds is ninety five. Dividend is ten 
divided by 95 plus growth rate is given. What is the growth rate? 5%, 0.5. 0 0.05. So, 10 divided by 95 plus 0 0.05, it is 0 0.155 or 15%, 15.53%. So, this is the calculation of cost of equity capital using net proceeds which is, which is issued at par. Now, we are calculating cost of equity by issuing at a par using market price. Dividend is 10 rupees, market price is 150, but the growth rate is 0 0.05. It remains the same for two cases as also. Two cases also, it remains the same. So, 10 divided by 150 plus 0 0.05, it is 0 0.116 or 11.6%. So, it's very easy for calculation of equity. The only thing you'll have to understand whether the problem have been given growth rate or it is non-growth rate, whether it is issued at a par premium or at a discount or what is the redeeming value. So, if you understand all these concepts, the VAC table will be very easy for you all to understand and solve the problem. That's it my dear students. Hope the session was very interesting and fruitful. Smile is the biggest jewel you can wear people. Keep smiling. Thank you.